Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky was in Washington today to make a direct and personal appeal for additional military aid as Russia's invasion of his country enters its third year. Ukraine is gradually becoming less dependent on aid, and we are moving to the right, I think, right direction. And I want to discuss with the president how how to strengthen it, especially enhancing our air defense and ability to destroy Russia's logistics. Our goals for 24 are clear: take away Russia's superiority and disrupt their offensive operations. Congressional Republicans, especially those in the House, have signaled they don't want to keep supporting Ukraine in its war against Russia. Ahead of Zelensky's visit, Florida Congressman Matt Gates, one of the MAGA Republicans leading the charge against additional aid, put it plainly, quote, America has sent enough money to Ukraine. On the Senate side, Punchbowl News reports, quote, Senate Republicans indicated they don't even really want to hear from Zelensky. That's because Republicans have decided that if they are going to keep sending aid to Ukraine, they're going to charge Democrats a price for it, specifically they want a complete transformation of the policy around the U.S.-Mexico border to fit Donald Trump's desires. What the Biden administration seems to be asking for is billions of additional dollars with no appropriate oversight, no clear strategy to win, and, and none of the answers that I think the American people are owed. I have also made very clear from day one that our first condition on any national security supplemental spending package is about our own national security first. As of right now, there's no deal in sight because House Republicans want to start their holiday recess on Friday. It is that time of year. Today, President Biden made it clear what he thinks of the Republicans' attitude. Russian loyalists in Moscow celebrated when, re when Republicans voted to block Ukraine's aid last week. The host of a Kremlin-run show literally said, and I quote, well done, Republicans. That's good for us. If you're being celebrated by Russian propagandists, it might be time to rethink what you're doing. Now, Vladimir Putin already enacted the most audacious criminal election sabotage in recent memory back in 2016, famously. When he looks at his prospects in the war in Ukraine and American politics, it is obvious that it is in his best interest to do whatever he can to help elect Republicans again. The guys who will assist his goals by cutting off aid to Ukraine, forcing it into some settlement under conditions of surrender. Just think about the message that is being sent by Republicans right now about what Vladimir Putin should do in the 2024 elections.